Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on Forza 7 today, racing quite possibly the maddest go-kart ever to exist. This vehicle is essentially a Mazda MX-5 chassis fitted with the engine from a Corvette and I think the rear suspension from a Cadillac ATS-V, or certainly some suspension, something to do with Cadillac. It's a Frankenstein monster of weirdness and lunacy and I love it. I am just glad that this is a thing that is in Forza now. <laughs> it is utterly, utterly ludicrous. Uh, not the easiest thing to drive, as you can imagine. We are also too wide. <laughs> We're too wide on the opening lap on cold tyres in utterly monstrous go-karts. We're going to go up towards 150 miles an hour down here. I really don't want to be in the middle of a three wide through here. Thankfully, the car behind thought better of trying to make that one stick. We're still stuck side by side. Oh, can't see a thing through the smoke. No, oh, keep that one together. Uh, <laughs> Some wheels might have got connected. We managed to survive through all of that way. Most cars somehow made it through all of that. We got a little bit bumped, got a little bit turned sideways, but we were fine after that. Uh, it's a very, very strange thing to drive. So first of all, as you can imagine, acceleration is just stupendously fast. But it's not just that's it's not just the acceleration. It's pretty quick through the turns, but it is a weird vehicle to drive. It understeers a lot. Which, I'll be honest, I'm not going to complain too much about because I think that's a hell of a lot safer than the alternative. If this thing had more rear end grip and you started to have, well, the Aerial Atom Syndrome or the Lotus 311 Syndrome, I think it would be undrivable. I think you would get a vehicle that was completely and utterly, utterly uncontrollable. As it is, it's not too bad, even if it is completely and utterly terrifying. I don't know if... Uh, Gonna have a car up the inside. Yeah, I was not getting that one stopped. I might get him on the exit if he runs wide there. That's what I'm going for here. Go for the cutback. Get the drive down towards the final corner. Don't put the wheel on the grass as we try and slow it down here. It, we can be around the outside of the first part, but we will be on the inside for the second part. Make them go the long way around. They're probably not going to want to for all of that. I got a kick of oversteer. You can see <laughs> cars ahead struggling with that that oversteer. Got to be real careful with your gear changes. Uh, you change gear at the wrong time, you can get sudden big kicks of oversteer when you really, really don't want it. Oh, or you can get huge dollops of understeer like me through all of that. Uh, we've come out of, you know, considering uh, just the slight mess that was uh, on the first lap, we've actually not done too badly overall in terms of our positioning here. Actually very weird for me to find myself not down the back of the field for once. Uh, it's, it's weird starting up in six. I'm used to the random fours of grids putting me, you know, guaranteed last. There's three wide up ahead going into this next corner. I'm very deep under brakes because I'm pushing my luck a little too much trying to join in the fun up ahead. Not a clever idea, particularly. Oh, we have a silver car around the outside. I don't think he fancied that one. Can't say I blame him. Oh, oh particularly. Whoa, okay. Big oversteer moment on a curb. I think I'm going to get to the inside regardless of what I do here. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, he has changed his mind and uh, fallen back into line. I'm going to go early on the brakes. I think early on the brakes might not be a bad strategy through some of these corners. Focus on getting that exit. See the car behind it, a big wobble across the curbs. He might actually have a go up the inside there. I don't think you're going to want to go too wide. Surely not through maggots and beckets. Not if you can help it. We'll have to defend, and this doesn't really help us in terms of trying to chase after the cars further up the road. Now they are battling each other a little bit. I could do with them battling each other a little bit more. I could do with a bit of a uh, off-track excursion as well from the car ahead of us. There's some <laughs> some groups of vehicles further back fighting for position as well. So yeah, I think I'm a little earlier on the brakes through here, but I'm focusing on getting that uh, run off of the corner. I'm focusing on that exit speed, which, you know, helped me last time around down into this final chicane. Can we get past it? There's another black and orange car ahead of us. Probably not if I do that anymore. I think we're going to lose a spot. So I'm not going to be able to turn in. I'm going to be stuck trying to go around the outside. <laughs> Couldn't quite get there, although he's probably going to get me into turn one. I'm not sure I want to go around the outside of a second. I'm going to I'm going to keep it there. I'll do what I can. I'm going to run out of grip. Yeah, can't do that. I just It was worth a try. I mean, there's only so much I could do. It's like a big, big fight going on for the lead. I would love to be a part of it. I'm just a little bit too far back at the moment. And there's, there's wiggles from all three of us coming out of turn three, I think, if I remember my Silverstone numbers correctly. Uh, 
I think these things should replace Formula 1 cars. Who needs Formula 1 cars when you can have mad 500 horsepower go-karts? I mean, admittedly, Formula 1 cars are much more high-tech, essentially mad go-karts. But still, I mean, I think these things are the future of motorsport, surely. Uh, just for sheer, just for sheer lunacy's sake. Can I go? Surely I can't go around the outside. I don't think that's going to happen. The silver car is getting a little bit of a wiggle on that. Uh, while I'd like me to get a very good run on this uh, hold, start, finish straight from all the way out there. Oh, we've all got understeer. We've all got exploring the same part of the circuit. Not very clever. Uh, can we see if... Yeah, it's focusing on trying to get that trying to get that exit. I'm not very good. Well, I say I'm not very I'm, I'm struggling a little bit for pace through Maggots and Beckett's here. Uh, I, I'm quick enough. Oh, I'm quick enough on the way in. It's out through this part where I'm a little bit, a little bit wonky. We are better this time around. I've got nowhere to go, particularly. Do I want second gear? Potentially not in all of that. Uh, we are sadly losing touch with the leaders. I don't know if we're being caught. I would like that sixth place. I would like that sixth place back if I can if I can manage it. Final corner, perhaps, is where we're going to get it. Uh, there's plenty of good overtaking spots around Silverstone. We were very quick there. Am I going to be able to have a look down the inside? No, nope, he's going to go defensive, as I would expect. Although, as soon as you start going defensive, it's going to compromise your line. It's going to slow you down. The problem is I haven't actually got too much in the way of options as to where I'm going to find a way past or... <laughs> try to sneak it up the inside because we are now as soon as we start fighting we're gonna very quickly lose touch with a the car ahead of us more importantly oh, car behind me is gonna join in this group that car behind me has joined in this group now as i've had a, just is all it's taken is a couple of corners of us fighting around the outside of turn two not got the rear end grip to make that one stick i will at least be on the inside for this next bit try and defend from the vehicle behind at least fill the road with go-kart oh no, 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 too much wheel spin. He didn't want to go around the outside. We've got the Raikkonen line up ahead. I think that grass might cost him. We're going to go three wide again down here. This is not what we want to be doing particularly, but it is what we're going to be doing regardless. There's a car on the outside. Please, the car on the inside, don't come out too wide. Uh, I think we're through there safely just. <laughs> just managed to get across to close the door in time, although he's now back looking up the inside. Come on, run away, run away, run away, get the exit. I really need to be able to cover that because it's going to cost us to lift through here because there's a car on the inside. Ah, he's fallen back now. But oh, damn it, we got one place and we lost one place. In all of that, needed to do better. Can I now knuckle down and chase after the car ahead for the final lap, or are we going to have issues? We might have issues, actually, coming into Magazine Beckett's. No, he changed his mind. Problem is, I didn't know if he was going to change his mind or not, so there was sort of space there just in case, and that's then maybe wide into this section. We're going to have another big slide. Oh, no, that's not what we needed. That's not what we needed at all. I've gone too eager on the throttle. And we're back to a place again. I mean, I think we are... <laughs> we have got some gap further back. We have got some gap behind us, at least. Right, one lap. Oh, you're very wide. You're very wide up there. Come on, get a good exit out of this out of this corner. I'm going to have to do it the long way around here. I'm going to have to do it the long way around if we're going to make this one work. Might just be doable if we don't push him out wide. He's still there. Oh, no, 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 stop sliding, stop sliding, stop sliding. God damn, I cannot get on the power soon enough. I just cannot get out of these corners quite as well. Although, that's a very wide line for the car ahead of me. Uh, whereabouts is he? He's not on the inside. Thank God for that. I was <laughs> checking the mirror, checking the distance indicator to make sure. Oh, I think might be having a look. No, it's changed my mind. Not at all sure on the length of the car, having done a couple of, you know, test laps and then a practice race and that was it so <laughs> yeah not not entirely sure on the length of the car but we have got through that first section i think now we might be a little bit clear i think now we might be clear enough to to run without having to defend into every single corner that we come to can't afford to make any mistakes of course when the car behind is only well was it 60 odd feet uh, closed up of course as we go through the tighter corners a little mistake will be costly, you know, a slide out of a corner at an inopportune moment. That is going to cost you, can potentially cost you a position. You saw what happened to me out of Maggots and Beckett as I tried to get on the power a bit too soon. So, yeah, you can't completely, you know, say you can't completely lose concentration. No, we're not going to chase down the car ahead. We don't have anywhere near the lap time. You know, the, the 
the length of race even if I was quick enough, which I'm not sure <laughs> not sure if I am here. Uh, into Maggots and Beckets we go. Easy does it through here. Let's just focus on not sliding the car. No more slithering around. Like, I, I drive on sim steering, and I mean, you've seen this, the twitchiness and the wiggles that can go on with this car. It is not the easiest, however, considering what it is, considering what a mad contraption, what a truly bonkers vehicle it is, I don't think it does too badly. I don't think it does too badly whatsoever in, in terms of being, you know, at least vaguely controllable. I mean, it's mad, but it is, it is vaguely controllable. We've actually now got a... Uh, fair gap back as we head through these final corners well it might only be a seventh place and i might have lost a couple of positions from where i started however whoa <laughs> as i said it's not too bad we very nearly been it however that all being said i had a good race and i very much enjoyed the car even if my lap time was terrible i did quicker in practice <laughs> So, we move next to Yas Marina. This is a more usual starting position for me. Uh, <laughs> we are down towards the back of the field. Four laps around the Grand Prix circuit. Actually got a pretty good start. Someone ended up in the wall off of the line. But uh, yeah, for me, pretty decent start through all of this. Try and get cleanly through to one. <laughs> a little, bit of, little bit of pinball going on through there. Now, there's likely to be a lot of understeer through these next couple of corners. The chicane could be fun times. The chicane could be interesting. I'm actually stuck on the outside. Did not realise. I hope there's only one car there. Uh, did not realise whatsoever, but we are through. Oh, got a burst of acceleration. Got to be careful with the old throttle control here. This is where your throttle control is going to be very, very, very important. And you don't want to get tapped. A little bump could cause a lot of trouble for somebody. Nine on the outside got a very good run. I did not get a particularly good run. However, we are we are free of the mayhem. And <laughs> things are not slow down the straight. Smith gear's quite long. However, they are not slow whatsoever when it comes to the straights. We do 170 miles an hour in essentially a go-kart. It's, it's a lot of speed. It's a lot of speed as we head through these back chicanes. Oh, we're going to clonk our way a little bit across the curb and then that's just a kick a wheel spin as it goes up through the gears uh, oh, damn it green car's got a good run on me here who is going to be the uh, last of the late breakers i hope i've judged that one right actually got that one pretty well someone of a head had to take to the escape road we're going to go around the outside the second part i don't know if they're still there they are christ that's scary side by side i think they'll finally give up and fall into line through that chicane we are up into a ninth place this is where they're not likely to be too fun especially where they're not likely to be too fun that uh, higher speed understeer is something quite or can be something quite chronic uh, it is yeah a little a little dicey through all of that it's not the worst thing i've ever driven it's not the worst thing as i said i would rather it be understeer even snappy oversteery so <laughs> So there we go, up towards the final corner. Can I sneak around? Nope. Glad I didn't try because he got a big kick of oversteer and would have ended up in the side of me even if I had tried. Uh, please don't have a look up the inside into the final corner. It's going to be single file out here. Something very pink got very sideways. Oh! <laughs> Excellent reactions, dodging the incoming out of control vehicle. We're going to go to the outside at turn one. Can I make it stick? No, oh, we've run out of grip. We might get the exit if we weren't across the curbs. Maybe I could have done. Can't can't do that we tried not quite sure where you're going up there we might sneak past come on come on come on come on don't get stuck in traffic again i don't want to have another race where we're just stuck in traffic fighting around the seventh eighth place mark oh we could go around the outside all the way into the chicane that should put me on the inside for the next part if we don't lock wheels oh. again chris with the liberal interpretations of track limits right there uh God damn it, I'm not even going to be able to get all the power well enough out of the hairpin. There's wheels from cars up ahead. Right, back into the slipstream we go, into the horrible, horrible sunlight. Uh, <laughs> sure, why not? What can we do down towards this next section? I'm not sure. I'm not really sure where the best braking point is. I'm kind of just playing it a little bit cautiously because I don't want to end up collecting somebody. I think the green car was very late on the brakes. Did manage to get it stopped, however. Is now on the outside of me. No, nope, not going to make that one work. We have got someone else alongside, though, in all of that. Just making sure there was space in case somebody ran out of grip. Well, I don't quite mean to push you that far towards the wall. We just kind of didn't have the turning, and we went over there uh, anyway. 
Right, on the brakes we go once more. You are better on the brakes than me. I say that, you are later on the brakes than me. You are not going to get it stopped, though, for that corner as we bounce through the chicane once more. This is a very, very big, angry group of cars. I might have got connected slightly. I've crashed. We've crashed the go- Oh, crashed the go-karts. I wasn't expecting the sudden <laughs> lack of acceleration, but that's what happens when you've got a lift because you've got sudden overstep. I might have I might have assisted with that, with getting him getting him sideways with the bump. So, yeah, probably should have been a little bit more careful but on the throttle, but there we go. It is what it is. We're now back through the hotel section. Uh, proving quite difficult to overtake around here. That car behind me is quicker. I, I'm, I'm quicker than the cars ahead. Uh, I'm just struggling to find a way past. Oh, that's a bit late uh, on the brakes there than the vehicles ahead. I'm now out wide. AstroTurf out there is horrible. I have got a car on the inside. We'll try and give them some space there for the oh, run out of the final corner. Oh, pink thing's gone round. That's the sim steering twitch, I suspect. Right there, they're also on a wheel, which probably... I, I imagine this is very, very hard work on a wheel. Uh, <laughs> I imagine this is very hard work indeed on a wheel. We've been playing a little bit of bumper cars with the go-kart. Vehicle behind's cut back and it's now on well, the outside for here. Will be the inside for the chicane if he can hold it, which he can't. I want to get clear so I can try and run in clear air and see what it's like. Uh, however, oh, that's a very big dive. Okay, you were much braver than me under brakes. Well done. I was I was a little cowardly. To be fair, I have been hitting into the back of uh, AK's car. So I thought, you know what, I'll just I'll just be a little slower. And, well, well, you, you made the most of that opportunity. <laughs> you made the most of the opportunity, and now I've fallen back to ninth again. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. We've... I think I might maybe have some speed if I can get some bravery and stay out of stay out of trouble potentially here. Uh, we are late on the brakes, actually pretty spot on on the brakes up here. Nowhere to really go through this next corner. You see, as soon as you're in clear air, you can take those preferred lines. I think Chris might have gone round. I don't think I touched the car. I think that was a spin on his own. <laughs> I didn't get any rumble from the controller to say I touched it. Could well be a lag bump. You sometimes get those when the game can't quite decide where your car is, and on your end, you don't touch a car, but on their end, you get punted. So, I apologise if that was a lag put around. I might have jumped the curb a little bit through there, but there we go. Uh, I'm not going to have a dive up the inside here. Uh, <laughs> from from slightly jumping the curb, I, I won't go for that. Also, that would have been a real dodgy manoeuvre to try regardless of if I had got across the curb slightly. So, I think lift on the way in, and then you can get, yeah, lift on the way in, get the car settled, and then you can get all of the momentum through that long corner. Get it right, and it is really rather good. Get it wrong, and you're going to have all sorts of trouble. Uh, but, well, to be fair, that's just about any corner. We've got one more lap. Can we maybe get up towards a sixth place? I mean, could anything befall the uh, top cars? I think it'd be difficult. It's proven to be surprisingly tough to uh, get overtakes done around here. So I think it might be unlikely to see too many change of positions for me. Well, maybe backwards if I end up... Uh, <laughs> Stamping on the throttle or get the car a little bit, a little bit twitchy. Okay, once more into this first corner. The curbs at Yaz are very, very vicious. And that's kind of one of the reasons we haven't, I haven't used it so much in things like Versus the Community and so on. The curbs are, are very, very brutal. I feared that we could have issues with this car here, quite frankly. I mean, this is a strange contraption. But, truth be told... It has been very well behaved across the curves. I mean, it's not been very well behaved in general. It's a lunatic. Uh, however, when it comes to dealing with curbs, it has not had issues with them. It has not had issues with them whatsoever. Right. Down the long back straight we go. So I've got... I've kind of got two races going on. First to eight, they're at a train with me bringing up the rear. And <laughs> further back... Uh, cars that have been in incidents, or just been, perhaps even been just slowed down by their own their own battlings, are all grouped together. Uh, not going to be able to do anything here. I have a feeling we're going to be stuck in a little bit of a trade. Uh, it's been very difficult to get a pass done. If I go for a big throw up the inside manoeuvre on the car ahead of me, you run the risk of just plonking the side of the car ahead of them. Although, their, well, the out accelerate the other car is uh, always an easy one, much better one to go if you can make that stick into the chicane. It's around the outside. Oh, they've got connected. Wheels got connected, and I will say thank you very much. It is all going on at the front. Jeez, it's four. They're three wide. <laughs> well, we might pick up some more places if they're going to fight like that. We might pick up some more places if they're going to fight like that through these next few corners. Uh, 
Can anybody find a way past the leader? I mean, we've caught up massively just in a couple of corners. We're right up with this group. I'm not sure there's going to be any opportunity to find a way past here. Oh, oh no, I thought I was clear. I'm really sorry. That was my bad. I thought my wheel was clear and it wasn't. Ah, oh, <laughs> I do apologise. I did not judge my width very well. Ah, oh, we're going to plug it all the way to the back. The shape was a great race. It was a... Uh, was a very, very good race. However, there we go. It happens sometimes. We got a little bit a little bit excited with all of the shenanigans going on. Thought I could maybe sneak up the inside. Didn't make it work. And in the end, ah, all of the hard works. And we come 12. That's still not a fun race. At the end of the day, that's the important thing. Finishing position, I don't mind too much about that. If I have a fun race, if we have an exciting race, that's, that's what matters. And we did. The vehicle's mad. It's utterly stupid and bonkers and far too fast and barely controllable. But I kind of like it. I do <laughs> I do kind of like it and of course highly recommend that, uh, that you give it a go. That though is going to be it for this for this video. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, a goodbye.